What's going on guys? Welcome back to No Man's Sky. So you probably haven't seen this screen before. That's because a huge new update actually just released for this game. It added a whole bunch of new things like building, uh, recruiting aliens to help you farm rare materials inside your base. There's freighters, which are these giant ships that you can buy and uh, apparently build in in the future and do farms and stuff. So I know No Man's Sky has been kind of a, a dead game, as most would say uh, from the past, but I thought I would still check out the new update, try some building out and see if it revitalizes the game for me and see if it's worth beginning again. Uh, these game types are also new. Survival and Creative Creative just allows you to run around and build with like no limitations on what you can do. So you can just explore, build, attack, do whatever the fuck you want. Survival is like hardcore. Obviously, survive with limited resources, increased hazards, and stronger, more aggressive enemies. I probably won't be playing that. I mean, unless you guys obviously want to see me do a survival series, it's up to you guys, obviously. But we're probably just going to continue from last save. I have to play this on PS4. The PC does not have this current save uh, like it doesn't have this current patch unfortunately yet but i do i do believe they plan on releasing it soon or in the near future so we're on ps4 we're ready to go if you guys want the full patch notes the link is in the description we're gonna probably jump right into building i don't know where i left off as you can see it was august 13th when i last played which was a fuck ton long ago so we'll see how this goes i'm not really sure all right, so now we're on we're on a space station. This is where we last left off. I believe this is the premium ship. I don't think I really even got too far on PS4 to be honest. I played mostly on PC. Uh, controls are going to be a little different. So it's a 16 slot. We pretty much only have Famium. We're going to go down to the nearest planet and just test out the building. That's the plan. All right. So here we go. I'm assuming Oh god, we're just going to push Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, give me a second. What did I just do? I did the... Oh, yeah, on the console, they added a new way of, uh, like, doing things. Like, there's, like, this this hot bar almost, like a quick bar, where you can do things quicker. Whoa, this is a freighter, dude. Let's go over to the freighter, shall we? All right, so can we buy the freighter? Oh, okay, so it's over here. Never mind. A little bit farther. I don't know if we could buy the freighter or we work on the freighter or do we start with a freighter? <gasps> we might start with a freighter, guys. What? Um, yeah, dude, there's like an entrance up top. Oh, I missed. Oh, I hit it. Kind of. Nope. I feel like I should be going into it right now. Come on. Get into the blue and I should just pop right in, right? Or do I need to land on it like a normal human being? Not from above, you know what I mean? It's quite hard on console. To do shit like this. There we go. They just wanted us to do it like a normal space pilot, not an idiot like me. All right, so we're landing on a freighter. Oh my god. All right. So I'm assuming these are kind of like we can we can buy ships from here too. So it's like kind of like a mini space station almost. But a freighter. All right, so what's going on in here? We can go upstairs. Maybe talk to an. Maybe this is where we recruit the aliens for our settlements. Dude, look at this place. Holy shit, it's pretty big. Oh my god, alright. It's bigger than the space stations. There's multiple levels. And that just goes downstairs. Let's just keep going upstairs and see what's going on. All right, that's not lootable stuff, but can't go in there. Doesn't even seem like it's an Atlas Pass thing. Admiral Admiral Divin, maybe he's the pilot. Dude, look at this alien. What up, dude? 
What up, dude? All right, so these guys are Atlas, it seems like. All right, this is this is dope. This is dope. What up, Admiral? I probably don't know any of their language. Hello, I'm Captain of the Freighter. I can help serve you in your travels for a price. Well, I guess I earned fucking everything. Make an offer on the freighter. How much are is your freighter? How much is your freighter, dude? Let's see. The 13 slot freighter. <laughs> 7.3 million. Fuck that. 7.2 million, sorry. <laughs> I only have 600k. I actually have a lot more money on this game than I had on PC, so. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, take you up on that on a later date. Maybe when I take out a loan and sell my soul to the devil. Uh, we'll see you, we'll see you later. What up, dude? Can we talk to you as well? You guys are fucking tall as shit. All right, see you later, dudes. All right, so that's kind of cool. So we can buy the freighter. I bet there's a bigger freight, like a, a cheaper freighter. I wouldn't doubt it. We probably just found like an expensive one. But it was at like 13 slots. Supposedly you can send things to and from your freighter no matter what. Um, you want to build a ship or uh, build a base. So that's what we're going to go do. Let's, let's discover this planet down that's right in front of us. And let's see if we can't start building. Not sure how it works, but we'll figure it out. I believe in us. All right, let's go, dude. Yeah, the controls. I'm. I apologize in advance for how bad I am gonna be at controlling this game. By the way, though so this place is undiscovered. Full drive. I remember. All right, so we scan. It's got gold, nickel, and heridium. So. That's not bad. Gold sells for a good amount. Nickel's kind of unnecessary. Heridium, I'm assuming, is going to be the base block for building everything in this game. So, that's not bad. Oh, is it a water planet? Yeah, it seems like a, like a water planet, but we'll see once we get closer to the surface what it actually is. Because it needs to render in a little bit. Looks like a snow water planet. Snowy, cloudy water planet. So this is our, uh, our thing. We down D-pad and then we right and left on D-pad. Right, let's go ahead and... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Like I said, bear with me when I learn the controls. Let's get out and check like the temperature and see like what everything going on here is. So it's mild rain. Uh, Central is a regular. Floor is abundant, fauna is none. So there's no animals here. It's kind of cold, but it's not. I think this is nighttime. I'm gonna assume this is nighttime. What the fuck is this though? Titanium oxide. Advanced mining laser required. Well, I have a shitty mining laser. That's not good. Like I said, I don't know what I have on this uh, versus versus PC. I was more progressed on PC, but I had less money. Honestly, it looks extremely beautiful, even on PS4, guys. Like, it, it really does. Kind of want to get a PS4 Pro just for this game. But then again, I don't. All right, let's hop back in the spaceship. Let's see if we can upgrade our mining laser real quick. Let's just check what we need. Mining beam. Go ahead and just charge it real quick with some plutonium. We have the original. I remember what happened. On PS4, we struggled so hard to find a new laser. On PC, I found like 15 in a row. Every place we landed, there was a new laser. But on PS4, I struggled so hard. So hard. I saved up all my money and everything just to get a good one. But it never worked out. So, like, to get a better laser, we have to, like, get rid of stuff. So I'm going to dismantle the amplifier. 
and faster mining means process research rich materials. Mining lasers strengthen to speed up terrain destruction. Operates automatically. So that might be able to make us do this. We'll see. I think this is new though. Like I never was not being able to break these things unless I just never got around to trying to break things of this stature. You know what I mean? Advanced mining laser required. All right, so we can't mine anything here. We can easily have mine heridium and stuff. So that's our flashlight. We're gonna recharge that with carbon. Life support, we'll use a power canister. Bolt caster, plutonium. Right now it's just the torch that we can toggle. So I think we can build stuff either in our inventory maybe? Let me check. Health module, exo companion unit. Increased user's health upon primary systems have failed. This is our exosuit. Doesn't give us the option to build yet. I hope we don't need to buy a freighter to build. All right, let's find somewhere in the area that looks like it's buildable. We need to find somewhere to save as well on the planet first. That's for darn sure. All right, so let's go ahead and scan. All right, there's a dude right there. And let's go. Is this a shelter of some sort? No, it looks like it's something like... Yeah, it's like the little orbs that we can steal. Hmm. Still want to save, though. Still want to save, just in case. You never know. I'm also assuming if I go into, like, a new area, the update will be, like, better in a way, if that makes sense. Because it is a new area generated on the new patch. The so things will look better. Things will flow better. Etc. Etc. But for right now, we're staying here. I don't even think I have a... Do I even have a warp drive in this? Oh, I do. I have a hyperdrive. I could actually jump one more time. To be honest. Like I said, first... Finding somewhere to build. All right, so look at this little mountain here. There we go. That's the kind of thing we're looking for. Anything at all? Hey, yeah, it's a little... All right, it's like a little base of some sort. So I'm going to talk to the aliens. Not sure exactly if we need to, like, learn building... It's probably just a simple button, but we'll figure that out in just a minute here. Oh, it's a fucking gross one. And we can't do anything with that. I think I learned a lot of the language on this one. I think I remember I focused on that a little bit. I found a body. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. It's a species. We'll just analyze... Discover something coded deep in the long traveler's data. Something that will be left when we aid my journey. Radiation deflectors. And what's over here? I've also been told that you can take over, like, unclaimed buildings. So we might be able to do that as well. All right, let's pop on out. And see if we can start building. Alright, build menu is up on the D-pad. Here we are. This is everything that you could ever need. So we got signal boosters, save points, communication stations. Uh, we go up, I believe. So we have iron, platinum, or platinum, all this other stuff that we need to build with. So... In order to change the set, all we can do is tech right now. I'm not sure if we have to build stuff in order to get everything going first, but let's go ahead and find a nice spot. We want to build here. We want it to be nice and flat, maybe next to a trader. 
would be best, best, best bet. But I'm not sure exactly where we want to build quite yet. But I think I want to build here. I mean, it's cool. It's not cold during the night. That's the biggest thing. Because you don't want to come here during the night and try to drop some stuff off and just have it be cold as shit. Alright, let's scan real quick. Nothing scanned over here at all. I mean, we're trying to find somewhere... Ooh, this... Hello. One sec. I was just about to say. We're going to find somewhere really flat. Look at this spot. I like the blue grass on this planet, too. It's very beautiful. Look at this spot, guys. It's not, like, crazy flat, but, like, I can work with it. We can start our build right here. Let's do that. All right. Versatile scanner will calibrate to scan the specific building types of your choosing. All right, we'll build one of those. We need some iron. Need iron in the area. Seems like there's like no iron on this planet. All right, well let's check the scanner. Let's see what we can do with this. This is the first thing we built. We're going to build like a full-blown base in the future. Don't worry, guys. So a signal scanner, we can tell it to find stuff. So this is like what we used to hack. But now we can build one. So we can ask it to find a resource deposit. Maybe it'll find us some iron. Resource deposit detected. Doesn't tell us what it is, of course. Maybe heridium. I'm assuming that's heridium. 15-minute walk. Probably like a 30-second flight. So how many times in a row can we use this? Does it have a cooldown? Do we, do we stop it and then we can like choose a different thing? Hab <gasps> oh, I didn't even notice. Habitable base, aka we can go over there and take it. Planet base detected. Was that where we just were? No, 43 minutes. Alright man, thanks for being awesome signal, dude. But I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and go see if we can inhabit that base. So in here, we can do a quick charge. This is honestly faster than PC. No, not enough fuel for launch thrusters. All right. There should be plutonium just over here, though. Not a big idea. There's also, like, you see the hint menu in the bottom right corner? It helps new players hardcore. Um, it'll actually tell you, like, what you need, where to find it, etc., etc. All right, so we got a little bit of plutonium. That should be just enough to get our launch thrusters going. Thank God there's plutonium on this planet. That shit happens a lot to people. There'll be no plutonium on the entire planet. You won't be able to recharge your thrusters, and you're stuck. A lot of people had that difficulty. All right, so we should be able to. Down, charge. Oop. There we go. And let's go over to this habitable place. Maybe we can, like, just start there, you know what I mean? I do want to, like, free build in the future. Don't worry about that. But as of right now, I definitely want to just get somewhere to call myself home. That way, when we're traveling around the universe, uh, we can, one, teleport back. And then, two, uh, what you can also do now is set waypoints, which is another cool thing. Everybody's been asking for that forever. You can also get aliens to come back to your settlement. Uh, and each alien has its own, like specialty so there's the building one there's like uh an alien that is good at farming and it unlocks new things as you get better aliens to join your cause pretty awesome pretty awesome i'm looking forward to finding some aliens but for now we need to just get somewhere to call home and that's the plan we're just 27 seconds away i could have done this a little bit quicker if i went into orbit and blasted off but being not so familiar with the PS4 controls anymore, I think it's best bet for us to just take it easy for now until we really get comfortable. It's a lot. It looks a lot better on PS4 than I remember. Maybe it's because I've been watching streams, and streams just don't do games justice usually. This is a habitable base. Looks like just a regular circle. Oh, it's flat as hell here, too, so it's like pre-flattened for me. That's cool. And look at this nice, tall blue grass, dude. This is awesome. Like a sea of cyanober.
Whoa, so there's the portal. So we can interact with this and probably call it our own. Home planet registration. Claim home planet. Build a straight corridor you can access in the building menu. Well, what is this? Base item cache. So that's like everything else we need. Oh, Lord. Okay, so there's like a whole bunch of things to do. Well, thank you guys for swinging by today's episode. If you guys want to see more, please leave a like. If we hit 1,000 likes, we'll do another episode uh, in the near future. Uh, I know there's still going to be a lot of hate. This is a t there's a cave right there, too, dude. I know there's going to be a lot of hate for this game still, nonetheless. I mean, I really just, I enjoyed the game, and I still enjoy the game. So that's really what it comes down to. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.